Hey everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to this very important day on this channel. It is the release day of Paper Forests. My little second book is officially out in the world and my entire mind is just part emojis. It's like that most of the time anyway, but extra today. I've dreamed about this day since I wrote that first chapter many, many years ago, five years ago, I believe. Back when it was just a few hundred words in a chapter for a prologue and nothing else. So what actually been done after five years and five drafts is very surreal. This is why I'm going to put my little reminder that this book is self-published, so it's not a World War bookstore release day, because I don't think I can get it into bookstores, but it will be available online internationally as far as I can tell, but however, how I self-published it means it is mostly available for Amazon. I'm very sorry, but that's all I could do. So Paper Forests. This book is a love letter to my dreams, to fish-shaped constellations and fairy tales of unhappy endings and soft boys with bloody knuckles. It's a love letter to the child in my memory who is still made of magic and monsters and would read fairy tales under a chestnut tree. And most of all, this book is a love letter to the forest. I'm so happy right now. I think I would put a little dedications in here. I didn't do a, a proper, a real dedication in the book. So this is where I say my thanks and my acknowledgements and who I dedicate this book to. First of all, I'd like to dedicate this book to the Mavellas community, who were the first people to read this book back as I was writing it and uploading these unedited chapters as soon as I finished them. And also for the award there to the ones who voted Paper Forests as Mavella of the Year in 2017. <laughs> this book is dedicated to Emma, my big sister across the ocean, for having no clue what I was writing but recognising that it's important to me and giving her unconditional support nevertheless. Also, I'd like to dedicate this book to Han, my housemate, and they don't know it, but they are also the co-founder of Little Oaks Independent Publishing. This book is dedicated to the child I was when I started believing in magic and the person I was when I started to turn magic into words. This book is dedicated to my dogs because neither of them were around for the first book, this first book back in early 2017, and they deserve a lot of appreciation for bringing so much joy into my life. And this book is dedicated to you for watching this video, for reading my blog posts and my past videos, for the people who have cheered me on throughout this journey, from Pinterest boards and the unedited first drafts with all those typos. Thank you, because you're incredible and your support means the world to me. I think it's time for another small Q&A, and again, no one knows I'm doing this video, so the questions are asked by me. You may be asking, why did you write Paper Forests? My stories always come from like a very huge tangle of ideas. This one came from a very hard time with depression and reflecting on childhood and teenage years spent walking in the woods and isolation and then COVID isolation and butterflies and candlelight and dream monsters and magical little girls. I wanted to book a contrast where it's just between darkness and warmth and sadness and joy. You may be asking, what made you keep pursuing self-publishing? Two things. First one, infinite creative freedom. I have full control over the insides and outsides of the book. The second one, I don't think I'm ready for traditional publishing, or also I don't know if this book would be suited to it. And it's a story that's so deeply personal to me. I don't know how I would cope if somehow thousands of people read it. <laughs> you may be asking, what was the easiest versus the hardest thing of writing this book? There was a huge learning curve when it came to editing this book in comparison to Beauty and the Breakdown, my first book. I am older and wiser and have a better understanding of what I like in books and how I can make it work for me. All the little changes and keeping the timeline consistent was very hard for me to get my head around at first. The easiest parts? I think writing it wasn't as terrifying as I was expecting it to be and it was significantly more therapeutic than I thought it would be. Watching it become a book instead of a Pinterest board and these vague scenes floating around my head was incredible and it's always going to be the best feeling. Seeing the cover and seeing the physical book and seeing that people liked it are all good things. You may be asking, what are your biggest loves versus biggest fears of it being out in the world? My biggest love are the people who read my books, whether or not they like them. <laughs> Um, to the people who sent me photos of them with the physical copy in the hand and the sweet messages. And the biggest dream would be this book somehow becoming a bestseller and turned into a movie or like one of those limited Netflix series, but this isn't a dream. 
My biggest fears are all the cliches that everyone will hate it, or that someone will misinterpret it, and that it's out in the world and no longer mine to control. But people will have their own opinions and interpretations of my words, so I'm just going to have to sit here and listen to it, and that's it. I mean, I don't even have to listen to it, so I'm just going to sit here, and that's it. My early writing years were full of me writing short stories with these very oddly specific words as a way for me to learn my spellings at school, and I was convinced I was going to write a best-selling novel at age seven. Now I've written two novels that are not best-selling, but I have my own name on my bookshelf, and that has always been the biggest dream. So thank you for coming along and supporting me on this journey. I tend to focus on the good things a lot, but I feel like I should reassure you that there are sweat and tears and hard work behind everything that I do, and I am so grateful for everyone who's believed in me throughout this journey. With that, for one final time, I'd like to welcome you to the paper forest. Bye.